What's up YouTube, back here again with another video. And today we are going to install the Barwell F4. All right, we've got the Barwell F4 right here. And we're going to install a um, Unify Pro V3 or Unify whatever the hell the name is. This is the V3 version, all right? So it's the five volt version. Um, so there's some things you gotta try to do with this board because there's not a whole lot of five volt pins on here. So whatever, we'll get into that. Uh, now this is gonna be basically my review of the Barnwell F4. Uh, again, we'll wire it up. I'll show you how I do it. I'll wire up the uh, Unify. I do have some DVR of me flying my other Bardwell uh, build. This is my second one, so I figured, hey, why not put the build in it, and then I'll show you the DVR, and I'll talk about how I feel about the board and how I like, you know, how I like it and everything in the DVR. So this will be just the build portion, and then we'll get to the DVR. So let's move these out of the way real quick. I'll show you the quad. Now, I had a Betaflight F3 on here before. That's what I was flying. So this was here, so I literally just unsoldered everything, right? The camera, I took the VTX out. Same camera, same ESCs, everything is still on here, same motors. Just unsoldered everything, took the board out, and we're gonna prep this guy and put this board in. Now, the Borwell board has these gummies on it, which is nice, I like these. Um, so you can just use, you know, hard mount it to the board, or to the frame, and you'll get some soft mounting. But I feel like the plastic breaks, I break these plastic connectors all the time. And I already got these rubber bumpers on here, so we're gonna double soft mount it just because that's what I got here. And you know, we'll put the screws on top and then it'll be fine. And it'll be super soft mounted. I don't know if that's gonna be a good or a bad thing, but that's what we're gonna do. I feel like these metal and rubber just hold up better because it doesn't take that shock. Um, you know, it saves the screws from breaking underneath here better and all that good stuff. Uh, under here, this is a Bluetooth tracker. Um, underneath, this is the track, tracker, it's called. T-R-A-C-K-R. It's got the app and all. Basically like a tile, but a different version. So if you're wondering what that is stuck down in there, that's what that is. And I just literally jam that in there and that ain't going anywhere. <clears throat> so hopefully we don't lose this guy. All right, let's get into it. Let's get rid of this board well. I mean the Betaflight F3. Let's move the quad out of the way. Now there's some things we gotta do. You know, you gotta, you gotta think these things out. So here's my battery connector. I need a capacitor too. And I need a buzzer. And there's a buzzer. Capacitor, capacitor. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we got any of those. Alright, got a capacitor. And I like to put some of these things on. Uh, I'm gonna put the capacitor because the connectors are on the bottom. And we have to do this first. So I'm gonna get this all on there. These two things on there first. And then the other thing is, because the Unify is a 5 volt, right, right here, this is the wire it comes with. I gotta say, for the Unify, for the price, them giving you plastic wires, I think that sucks. I mean, there's no reason that these shouldn't be a silicone wires. So I just found another compatible pin header, and these are silicone. Now, the wires don't match up with the colors and the voltage and all, so you have to be really careful if you do something like this. You know, I don't recommend it, um, but I just like the silicone much better. Um, so we'll, we'll get into that, but that's a whole nother separate thing. And then buzzer, we'll add that on later. Uh, let's see. So if you're looking at the board, right, this is forward. We know on top, we got one, two, three, four. So we can do all that while it's installed. You got your receiver, your camera in the front, your VTX pins here in the back. So everything's on the top. But if you're looking, there's no five volt pad here on the top. The only one that you're going to have is for your receiver. When you select on the bottom, I'll show you that in a second. And then you got your LED and ground. I believe that's 5 volt, but that's also going to be, uh, you know, that's your LED pad there. You can use that, I think, I'm pretty sure. But since there's a dedicated 5 volt and ground pad right here on the bottom, I'm going to connect my Unify power port, you know, power wires right to that. So that, you know, that'll be there. So a couple things we got to do down here. Let's get the soldering iron. Now, first thing, I got this iron heated up. I got this iron heated up hot for these 14 gauge wires. This is 14 gauge. And we're just gonna get these prepped. Now, I don't usually use helping hands or any of that stuff. 
whether I probably should because it would make it easier, but so I don't know, but this is just the way I've gotten used to doing it. So we're just going to heat up the wire, get the solder in there, and then turn it over and do the same thing. Make sure we got solder all over the wire. This is a, you know, prepping your wires is a crucial step because that's going to make it so you don't have to hold the heat on the, uh, on the board so long. All right. Clean off the tip. So we got that. Now let's prep the board. So we got that negative. And your negatives always require a little more heat than your positives. Um, just because the negative trace goes through the whole board. All right, so we got negative there. The next thing we need to do is we need to solder. This is for your receiver tab on the top. See, now I messed that up. This is kind of hard to do when you're looking through the camera. Let's see what we got going on here. So, all right, they're separated. I just need to get a little more solder between the two. So I can't get so close to this thing, and my eyes are bad when far. So let me just make sure. All right, so that's going to be good. So we can see here. It will focus. We got the five volt jumper, so you want to jump the center pin, and then if you go three for three, you're gonna jump, you know, solder it the center to the outside one. But I'm, I need five volts, so we're gonna solder it that way. The other thing is here, I want to solder this, prep this five volt and this ground. Right. So let's get this. So we got battery negative on this side and we're gonna make sure we got some solder on the iron fresh solder and we're just gonna melt these make sure we have a good joint alright All right, so that's a good joint there and we'll do the same thing. Now, you want to be careful that you don't jump your solder into this little part here. So, I like to work kind of on the outside of this one. And, you know, just to make sure that we don't jump that uh, solder into that part. Because you don't want to do that. Because that will suck. Alright. Like I said... Ground is always takes a little more heat, and I, like I, said, I got my iron a little hot for for this, so I'm gonna turn this down. I usually like to run for the smaller wires, about 600 degrees or so. All right, so we can see we're good there. We're not touching this. We're not touching this thing. It's got some space. This is all good, and we're all good there. Now the next thing is I'm gonna add this right into here now. When you're putting these things on, you gotta kinda check your own clearance where you're gonna be. So, I know I got some space here and then my receiver is gonna go right, or the uh, Unify is gonna go right here on the back. So I got space for all this and then the antenna is gonna go around and connect there. So we're just gonna do that. And then I gotta bend, this is gotta bend up and around or up this way to get to the um, flight controller, or get to where I, where the output is. But we'll do that last. All right. So now, let's see. Now you don't need to put this, the capacitor in there. I like to do it any, do it because it just helps clean it up a little bit if you have some noise issues. I have them, so I put them on. And you wanna try to keep these wires as short as you can. All right, so I'm, I like that there. I'm gonna clip. I'm gonna clip it once I get it on there. I'll clip the what's hanging off. So let's get some solder on there. 
Now, if you look at these capacitors, this is a low, low ESR 470 microfarad, 35 volt. This side right here with this white marking is your ground, right? Nothing on this side. This side is going to be your ground. So that's how you can figure that out if you don't have the leads marked. And we'll just melt this a little bit. All right. Same thing over here. All right, so now we're on there. And I'm just gonna clip off this extra wire. All right, there we go. And then we're gonna cross this up over the top to go out of the quad, so that's good. Now the next thing I need to do, um, so the, like I said, the wires don't coordinate, so I got five volt and ground. So five volts yellow, ground is black. to go this way because it's going to be going backwards plug this so I'm not dragging this around I just wanted to make sure I got the wires right so we got five volt ground and then audio and video that's gonna be these two all right so now these are gonna wrap up now we can stick this guy into the frame this will be uh, part one part two will attach the ESCs real quick we'll attach everything up and then we'll go to the DVR so Thanks for watching and click over to part two to see the rest. I'm going to work this out a little bit and I'll show you what I did and then we'll keep on going. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.